Um, okay, so we've leveled up once, but I am also holding these blades. And I kind of feel like instead of using runes to level up again, I should level up these weapons. What are we thinking? Yes or no? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah, it's a good plan, right? I can't stand being here. I'm sorry. I can't stand being here with the... With the can't bear it dude uh where do i need to go undead parish okay do you want to use the weapons i think so i think that they're good to level up um we've seen i at least think this gold sword will be nice to use i'm not sure about this offhand dagger um because i do quite like using the shield here but as we've seen i think it's helpful Oh wait, sorry, I think the unique moveset for the orange weapon has to be in the offhand. Didn't you guys yesterday tell me that I had them in the wrong hands? You were like, for continuity's sake, I think the gold one needs to be in the main hand. Someone else, I think someone else did. Well, either way, let's go try and level these up. Oh, the orange weapon two-handed is also very good. Okay, well to two-hand it, I would need it in my main hand. Ah, okay, wait, this levels up with Twinkling Titanite. Okay, okay, and what does this one level up with? Also Twinkling Titanite. My opinion, the orange goes in offhand because you get the unique moveset and you and you use the silver one for backstab, etc. because of the high crit damage. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that I should be saving this Twinkling Titanite for? Because I... Personally, I would think no. I didn't even think I was going to use it for anything else. So it seems like the best place to use it. Um, but I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if there's a better place to do it. You can buy Twinkly Tide tonight from the orange blacksmith. Which one's the orange one? Then I'll just level it up using it. If I can buy it more, then I'll, I'll just use it. We're just going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Uh, oh. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking if I want to level them both up or not. Because I've only got four of nine. Let's just, let's just level up the orange one all the way. And now what do I need to do it more? This shit's so stressful, guys. I hope I can buy more of them. I already maxed out the orange one. Go and get yourself. So hang on, the orange one only goes to level five. Is that correct? Oh, Twinkling can only be reinforced to level five. Ah. Uh, okay, well, hang on. That might work really well then. Because this, I have enough to level up then. No, I don't have enough to level up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I almost had enough to level up. Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Final boss of this game is disappointing, aren't they all? Doesn't that seem quite like par for the course? Um, okay, let's go walk to... Walk to... Sanctuary Garden. Because then we're going to go... Can, uh, get all the... Look, look, flasks and then we'll go to the other one cool we've got 15 flasks now we go here okay should test out the weapons driver and get accustomed to it yes i should shouldn't i i've got 10k souls as well um let's see who in our closest proximity can i go test this out on oh oh uh, uh okay thank you george yo it's it's gwendolyn's um it's gwendolyn's top it goes fucking hard right so i've got gwendolyn's top and i've paired it with the witch's oh, you can't really see but i've paired it with the witch's gloves which have these like really lovely long artificial nails they look awesome so good right
What the fuck is making all that noise? This is so par for the course with this game. My god. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a blacksmith. Really? Okay. Well, far less menacing than I thought it was. Ooh, enter the gazebo. Uh, I don't want to do that until I can at least... Let's go find something to kill really quickly, and then we'll go enter the gazebo. And maybe, honestly, I might level up and use the rest of my runes. I think this is such a great detail that they keep this um, body here. Royal wood. I actually don't think there's anything around here for me to kill. You can't there yet. Oh, you, you can. There is nothing there for PvE. You know how earlier I was talking about how... When I say earlier, I mean in a previous stream. I'm scared, dude. We're just going to go the way we're meant to go. Yes. Because even takes you out to Margaritaville, yeah, exactly. That's what I would hope. Uh, look, I might as well level up. We've got these 10k souls. Let's see how much I need to level up, and then we'll go and do that. Oh, no, actually, no, 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 no. Who, who, uh, let me go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Brain cells are slowly firing with one another, okay? So let's go rest here for a second. I want to go warp to where Chamber of the Princess. See if I can buy Twinkling Titanite. Finish leveling up the other sword, and then, and then come back here. That's my thought. That's my plan. We have figured it out, chat. Reinforced weapon. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. I'm good. I'm good with this. So, question, you know how there is the, um, you know how there is a blacksmith in, uh, the catacombs that I didn't run into? Does that blacksmith have a certain speciality that I should be seeking them out for, or is it really not that important? Hey, Captain Russia, how's it going, lovely? Pawn check, yo, at this point, I think leveling pyromancy would require quite a bit of soul farming. I don't know. I can't explain it, guys. Because, honestly, it really doesn't make sense. But I... I... Don't... Enjoy using... The magic. Like, I would have thought that I would do. Okay, dude. That's not fair! I got shot in the ankle. They're scamming, I know. It's rough, isn't it? Now we can make crystal weapons too. The ones that are stronger but break. I absolutely will not be making any one of those. The crystal halberd came in ridiculously clutch. Um, but the pure stress of having to have a weapon and manage that weapon that uh, has durability, my little tiny heart simply can't handle. Um, so I cannot do it. <laughs> It's like welcome in yo. Reinforces fire weapons, but your boss weapon doesn't count. Okay. Catacombs Blacksmith specializes in fire weapons. Okay. Why are we pantsless? Chrysalids. How could you ask me such a thing? Because it's a fucking vibe. Look at the outfit. It looks awesome. Oh, I should probably rest at this one so I respawn back here. Magic has always been boring to me in these games. I never use it. But, like, why? Because I, I agree. I don't... I'm not safe. Um, I don't find it interesting. But I get annoyed at myself that I don't find it interesting. Because there's no reason why I shouldn't find it interesting. Why wouldn't that be a fun thing to use? Okay. I think that it's doing okay damage. 
It is weird to now go to not using a shield, but I'm used to not using a shield from Elden Ring. Ooh. Outfit needs boots. So when it says high critical, it's quite good this, isn't it? I'm not mad. It says high critical damage, right? But how and why? Like, not why, but like how? Magic and Elden Ring was fun. I have to believe that it's fun because people do it all the time. So it literally can't not be fun. This sword is awesome. And it does feel nice to use something else now instead. Oh, back backstabs or parries. But I can't, with it in my main hand, I can't parry, right? Stop. It happened much quicker than I was expecting it to. Hmm. I can't lock on, god damn it. Okay, okay. Nice. In your opinion, the magic system in Souls 1 game is pretty uninteresting and lapsed depths in general. But see... Why is it that way? Why do I... Because so many people love it, right? So many people love it. So it, it is an unpopular opinion because it goes against the norm, right? I don't know where I'm going. We're just here reconnaissance until we reconnaissanced our last sense. But I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting that it's a mechanic that's fairly divisive in that sense. Stop. I can't bear with the screaming. I can't. It's like anxiety overload. Yo, Coolia, welcome in. Lovely. How's it going? So you loved Magic and Elden Ring. So many people loved Magic and Elden Ring. Okay, that thing fires a lot quicker than I expect it to. I'm like trying to wait for the last minute to dodge it. And the last minute never comes. What the fuck, wavy curly hair? Yes. I am wearing my natural hair today. Uh, I do think in a way it makes me look quite different. Without shield or parry dagger, no parry. But wait, then what does the dagger help me do for the parrying if I can't parry with it? Now that you're done with the Ulusil Great Woods. Did that area mark you as peculiar? Did it mark me as, did it strike me as peculiar? Um, okay, let's, let's see. In what ways would I have found it to be peculiar? Because it must have been peculiar. Um, there were similar enemy types to some enemy types that we've seen before in there. But then very different kinds of enemy types. Um, what else? What else? Ah! It's not fair, mom. I wasn't looking. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I gotta heal. Yeah. Oh, but there's chests down here. God damn it. How am I gonna find my way back there? What else would have been peculiar about it? I don't know. What am I missing, huh? What am I not thinking? Backstab just walking around. Yeah, but I can't do any parrying with this kind of sword, it seems. I think Elden Ring might do magic the best. It gives a lot of close combat options as well as range. Probably a little OP, though. I remember that in Elden Ring for a good portion of the early mid game, there was literally no point for me using anything else but the normal pebble spell, Rock Sling. Mm. Magic users, see? Wow. Mm. 
curious, very curious. Can I big brain my way back there? I do quite like these swords. I'm quite fond of using these. Uh, I forget who it was. It might have been D yesterday. Um, who said recommend to go talk to the person and by talk to the person, we mean merc- Hey, 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 hey. Mercilessly kill them. Now, the only thing I'm not quite sure about is this weapon in my main hand. And I don't know if that's because it needs to be leveled up once more. And once it's leveled up once more, then I will enjoy it more. Or if it's just not as good. But it does not seem as good. They remind me of one of your builds in Elden Ring. Right? It does remind me a lot of that. Which makes me quite happy. It's like quite comforting. But at the same time, I'm proud of myself that in this game, uh, I, that in this game, I said, okay, no, let's use a shield. Let's parry. There were so many people during my Elden Ring playthrough. Ah, oh, no. No, I'm screwed. I'm in trouble. This is silly. I made a mistake. I'm fine. Uh, who were like, you can't parry, you can't parry. Tee hee ha ha, tee hee ha ha. Oh, uh, oh, yes, I can. I just choose not to. <laughs> TNT, welcome in, Harem Dreams. Hello. Next nice bit from Soft Game. We're much more focused on magic. I, uh, I'm genuinely, I would be interested in a game. I, I think that if they choose to make a game that is focused on magic, that's interesting. The screaming, what is happening? There's some awful secret here that I don't know about. Um, oh, I would be interested in a magic specific game. I think it's just like if you give me the option to not do magic, I will not do magic. It's just not my instinct to use it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something job you have is serving C word. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. You're making me feel so much better about my natural hair, which I really appreciate. Don't, 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 don't. I'm in trouble. No. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Damn. What's the best way to do this? I'm not even bummed about the souls. I want to get what's in the room. I think I owe two deaths. Sorry. Is this the right way? I think this is the right way. Okay, so before I go back in that room, what I may try and do is just... Uh, I forgot this person was here. I may just try and drop straight down and deal with that one that's straight down. God, I hate being here. Honestly, it makes me quite miserable. It's just the sounds of everything. It's horrible. Because as long as you can stagger them out of it, it, you, it can go by pretty quick. Okay. So I think it's like this. Quickly. Damn, damn it to hell. Dodge, dodge. Okay, good shit. <sighs> I don't even know why I tried to hit that. Okay, I was going to say, if that's a mimic, that's literally the cruelest thing ever. Dark orb, all right. Speaking of magic, I got the spell they've been using. Good stuff. <laughs> magic is still separate from melee weapons, according to the leaks. Okay, okay. Okay. Part of me has to believe that that is a bridge that would lead me across something. But there are no notes there. Do I have one an item that I can use to just like give it a quick little chuck? Prism stone. Use the item. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was a fucking scream. Yeah, what the fuck was a scream? Seriously, I don't know. 
That's creepy, right? Uh, okay, well, I was trying to be smart and use the stone. Um, and it's definitely not a safe path. Now, my only other concern... Oh, my God. I don't know why I didn't backstab. I don't know why I didn't backstab. I'm sorry, carving. What the hell is that? Arch tree carving says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, carving. Head carved of arch trees by Go in his imprisonment. Go imparts an emotion to each and every completed carving, which helps him achieve personal enlightenment. When a head is disturbed, it speaks, reflecting the emotion conferred to it. This head says, I'm sorry. Have another look. Isn't that an expression of atonement? What the fuck is that? Use it. Fuck no. No. Why would I use it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stone's way of saying don't jump your die. Does the stone actually scream? I hate being here. Um... Get me out of this dark shithole. Uh, not this way, like this way. God damn it, this shit all looks the same. No, this is the way I came from. Why would you not use it? Cause it's a one use, it's a one time use item. What is screaming at me? What is screaming at me? It's a one-time use item, so if I use it now, I'll, I'll lose it, won't I? Surely. Um, okay, I... Yeah, this all... Okay, I think I can leave... I think this was just like a self... Like, closed off area. There's something screaming in here, I think. That I can't fucking get to. I just have to go back like this. Uh, frankly, at this point, I might be running back to the bloody bonfire. Unintentionally. Well, actually, no. There is a ladder there. Or oh, not a ladder, excuse me. An elevator there. I don't trust myself to make it to that note. This is so fucking weird. I can hear things walking everywhere. It's so creepy, guys. It's so creepy. I hate it. Uh, okay, actually, what I am going to do... Is ignore the blood-curdling scream. Um, and that one. And I'm going to... Go walk back to Anor Londo get the rest of the twinkling titleite finish upgrading this sword since i have enough souls to do it and then we'll come back and then i promise we're done done with that stuff jeez louise chat oh i'm sorry mellow death wicked panda hi how's it going gal should be very upset if you don't use his magical wooden heads but thing is if i use it will it break I'm concerned that it, it will break with one use. That's why I don't want to use it. Ulysil Great Wood is Dark Root Garden. But why would I... How would I know that? Oh, it's reusable. It's reusable. Okay. I'm sorry. Ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. 
It's like the pricing plate in the Elden Ring, but I didn't even. I only knew of the prattling plate for Bok and that side quest, not because I used it. You can look around and see familiar landmarks between the two. But see, this is my issue, right? And I think I said this yesterday, and I remember it today because I was editing some of the stuff back today. Um, the Dark Root Basin, Dark Root Garden area in particular is so dark um it's incredibly difficult to get a, like a proper for me at least all right incredibly difficult to get like a proper bearing of the place um uh, and all that stuff so it's kind of like a weird place for me to be in okay how many do i need i think i thought it was just the one but now in hindsight it might be way more than one how many do I need? Wait, where is it? Where is it? This, I need... Oh, I need four. Um, I need four. I need four, so eight times three. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. And then 2k each to get it. So I need like over 30. You can tell by the ruined buildings and both zones being the same, but you know what's sad? I noticed that the buildings are similar, but I didn't think like, oh, they're the same and this is very intentional. I was just like, oh, they're using similar, like, assets? I don't know. Great. Good shit. Okay, so I guess for law purposes, the two are connected together, right? There's Dark Root Basin equivalent in Udasil, but you haven't been there yet. Okay. Javi, have you gone through the Tomb of Giants yet or not? I absolutely have. Well, okay. Yes, I have. Because um, I've done a boss fight there. And I met Patches there. Uh, and now you can probably tell why I'm rolling my eyes at the idea of being there. <laughs> But the one thing, damn, that I'm missing from there was running into the blacksmith. I think that's the only thing I missed. I'm not positive. Wicked Panda, bless you. Oh, I mean, they're similar assets. They were just using them deliberately, not because they were lazy. And maybe that's so my bad, Maya culpa. But I had assumed it was. Well, you guys have told me a lot about how they needed to, like, cut corners, how at the end of this game, um, at the end of this game, uh, the quality kind of takes a bit of a dip. So I was like, okay, in an effort to save money, they have reused the same assets. I did not think it was intentional, which I honestly, shame on me. A little bit. Uh, also, once again, I did advertently warp to this bonfire because I already have a kindled. Okay, that was not a mistake. Fuck patches. Seriously, fuck patches. Also, because as someone pointed out in the YouTube video of the react that I did to Vati's Elden Ring demigod lore video that I posted today, they reminded me that it's fucking patches that sells you the shackle or that gives you the shackle. Why does Patches have the shackle? I don't know, chat. This dagger. Uh, this dagger. I'm not using it right. I think the idea is to use the gold, ooh. The gold sword more than the other thing. I'm not sure. Hey, Kinnis Gamer. Thank you for the hive. And thank you so much for the three month tier one sub. Oh. Okay, I can't call the elevator to me, which I guess, like, not surprising. So that's a shortcut back. Okay, that's a shortcut back. So now let's just try and find a different way to get to places than I've already been. Grab it, grab it, grab it! Bloated head. What the hell is that? Is that actually something that you wear? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, let's read the description. The head of an Ulisil resident whose humanity went wild after being devoured 
by the mark of sorry by the dark of manis father of the abyss the bloated head is fissured the cracks lined with the innumerable tiny red eyeballs with a hard outside and mucus filled inside no sane person could ever wear it okay well note to self even if i wanted to wear it i could not because i would be absolutely dragged to filth um yeah i like what i'm wearing it's just too good. I was thinking about putting that headband on, but... Thank you. I, I was right about the Melania Mikla thing. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. Stop. Not the poison, dude. Not the poison. That sucks. <sighs> Wearing his face. Classy. Very classy. Very tasteful of me. Um. Okay. I mean, water is wet, sky is blue. This place is horrendous. And not a place that I would want to be. Oh, wouldn't you know it? A lovely chess, beware of mimicry. <laughs> what could possibly have given it away? A chest out in the middle like here? Surely not. No, bastards. Comps off reuse assets and animation at all time. Blob's the same. Very good carving. We're adding to our collection. Nice. I forgot what the hell I was saying. What was I saying before the mimic chest? This place is miserable? Probably. I feel very... This is probably the place I felt the most uneasy being in. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm dead. Yeah. Houston, we might have a problem. Damn, I have not been able to dodge one of those once. I'm dead. Wow, dude. Oi. And I do think this is a place that you need to go slowly through. I don't think I'd be able to run through that. The screaming in the background is horrible, isn't it, Corey? I hate being here. Let, did I read some of these? What does this one say? Enemy ahead. Good luck. Okay. Say, ah! Sorry, I swear. Do they normally pop out from here and I've just managed to miss them the whole time? It's this guy. Why was that guy up there? That screams friendly. I think the Elden Ring DLC is going to be amazing. I mean, surely, but, but, but like whilst they were working on the game. Oh, damn it. They knew what a winner they had, but in case they needed any more reassurance. The note was debate. The ad was always there. But what I don't understand is that it's definitely the guy, um, the enemy that was down, uh, that was down below originally. Why was the enemy now up there? Oi, oi, oi. This area is tough. It seems it. But more than anything, Oh good, the chest stays dead. That's quite nice. Um more than anything, I'm I really hate being here with the screaming. And I kind of wonder and I guess maybe don't tell me. Um I'm trying to think of how to fight these things. Is there something over here? Is there a door? There's another person over here. Uh. Oh, damn it. I kind of wonder if this is the vibe for Bloodborne. That's what I've been trying to say. I 
I don't know any other way to do it apart from that. Bitches! Not the face grab. Ugh. And I feel like there's not going to be a bonfire anywhere nearby. I'm so pissed, dude. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Where is the other thing at? There has to be something else in here. I hear it. Ugh. There it is. Honestly. Ugh. Rubbish. Okay. Well, I could go give it to the bird. I suppose. I'm just going to use a flask. I don't want to risk it. I don't think they've put a release date for for the Elden Ring DLC. Or if they have, I... Oh, God. Oh, my God, guys. There's so many here. Oh. Um. Oh, man, dude. I want to do the fucking stab attack. Uh, I want to try and fucking jump down and stab. They're laughing at my feeble attempts. I know. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. Let me just observe for a second. There's the two back here. The two up there. Three over there. I think, right? I don't see any other ones. Now, my thought right now is I need to dispatch of this one first, for sure, because it's the magic wielding one. And then after that, I kind of just want to, like, keep my back to a wall so that I at least can't get surrounded. But at the same time, I am quite concerned that I'm going to get absolutely swarmed. Now, the last thing that I did notice is that there is an opening here... But I do not trust myself to make that fall. So I'm, I think I'm going to try and have to just go this way. This sucks though. This feels like... And like boo hoo hoo. Woe is me. Um, um, uh, this does sort of feel like... Uh, I don't know. You do a lot. Okay, what's in this room? What's over here? Not a room. Not a room, not a nothing. Okay. Not a room, not a nothing. There are so many of them over there. Ah. Uh. I like that my weapon at least dispatches of two of them at a time. Oh, and there's a witch person up there. Um, okay. Mm. The ankle rail, dude. Uh, what's over here? Can I get a shortcut at least? Mom? Shortcut, mom? Mum, I'm being chased and I'm unhappy about it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think that's the only way I can go from here or I can go in this room can I drop down into this room no I cannot drop down into that room how do I get into that room I can't bear being here chat it's awful it's so horrible
Roll off into that room. Contact welcome in. Platforming strikes again. Okay. What did we expect? That was an attempt. Guys, I can't platform to save my bloody life. I'm notoriously horrible at it. And it's hard when everything's cackling and giggling at me horrendously. Being here is horrible, dudes. Okay, this better be good. Or at least not terrible. I'm actually shocked that that's a mimic chest, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really didn't think it was. <laughs> that feels unnecessarily cruel. Crest key. Can I safely read this? Bent crest key. Uh, the grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door sealed with a powerful spell. Okay, well, at least I got something worthwhile from that. Notoriously. 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 The laughing, it's gone. For now. I just drank a flask. I feel like I'm wasting these, but I don't know what else to do at this point. Actually, the laughing is gone, isn't it? The screaming is back though. <laughs> Just when we thought. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, back up, back up, back up. Bitches! Um, okay. Are you coming up the ladder? I hate this feeling of like, I can hear that something's following me, you know? This is such an unpleasant place to be. <laughs> This place is so unpleasant, guys. Um, okay. I mean, I've got nowhere else to go but down at this point. <sighs> Do you want assistance getting an item that will help you with the boss? You've walked a bit past it, but super far. Um... Is there any way to get back to it from where I'm at right now? Because <laughs> I'm not sure that there is. If you dislike this town, you're going to hate the next part. I mean, how can you guys stand being here with the screamings? I can't bear it. It's so unpleasant. You'll be able to go grab it from a previous bonfire. Snow so rush. Okay, okay. We'll just have to go back for it. Because I did... Um as the official term is, uh, balk this. <laughs> okay. Please. Try a plunging attack. Why the hell would I do that? They can't be serious. That can't be serious. We don't just accept the reality that we're here. Oh, we don't. We just accept the reality that we're here. It's creepy. But that's how you know that this atmosphere is amazing. It's so um, unsettling being here. Hi. Evergreen. Green. Ever dark green. Welcome in, lovely. 
How's it going? How are you? I I don't see a reason to stay there. Shortcut ahead. I hope this is the actual shortcut. Please say yes, 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 please say yes. This has to be. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank fucking God for that. It feels much better to be able to sit at a bonfire. Is this bonfire worth kindling? Um, is there, or is there a better bonfire to kindle? Because I'm half tempted to just warp to... Warp to the sanctuary garden again. Get the 15 flasks, then walk back here. Because I don't have that much humanity. This is the one to kindle to 20 in my opinion. I feel like I might regret that be honest oh i've got one humanity so that's good let's reverse hollowing and kindle this twice i think that actually works out better in the end you'd rather be back at tomb of the giants frank oh shit i've got 20k souls frankly i don't know <laughs> i think i'd rather quit dark souls this place in particular feels so um like anxiety inducing i can't explain it it makes me so it makes me so uncomfortable Okay, cool. Let's level up. Dex to 40 would be a bit more of a priority. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Uh, okay, that's sorted. Now there is an item to get. Where do I grab said item from? Grab your light source and head down the next set of stairs. Um, okay, I have headed down the next set. I've headed down this set of stairs. I jump into the blacksmith or the other parts of the forest. Oh, wait. Hang on. I got a key. I wonder if the key works to the to the blacksmith. Let's test it. Wait, wait, wait. I want to test the key first. I want to test the key first. Okie dokie. Where was it? Over here. Oh my gosh, Zane, you're totally fine. Dark Souls 2 was a letdown. So many people don't like Dark Souls 2. So many people don't like it. Oh, they're hilarious, Chrysalis. Yes, this is the key that opens the door. I hope it wasn't a single use item. Hi. Visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. Freed. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. Oh! And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. It was the British spelling of honor. Uh, okay. Now I wanted to. Oh, shit. I wanted to see the armor. I thought there was cool armor to get here. Um, the vast secret to explore this domain. Be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. Me? Mm, there's very little to be said. Who good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive. I suppose. Me? What could it be? I'm... Farewell, human. Um, I'm Enjoy hoping... Life as thou seest fit. Okay, well, let's hang on. Okay, good. So this key goes to mul- This either- I assume this key goes to multiple doors, because that was quite anticlimactic. Mobs are a bit much. The mobs are much. The bosses move so quickly, um, much more aggressive in in DLC versus the base game. And my problem is that I, I don't mind bosses that move quickly. My problem is that I don't. <laughs> I have no mobility and I'm not even like fat rolling or anything. You know what I mean? Kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Have you tried using the carvings yet? Yes, I have. Yeah, because I've got one. Which armor am I looking for? I don't know. Um, all I know is that there was armor that I could get in the DLC that apparently looks amazing. That's all I know. 
So we walk around the building. As you can tell by the lovely, cheery um, screams of this absolute hellscape. Um, I'm dead. I'm in the DLC area. Uh, and it's, it's frankly so miserable <laughs> because of the screams. Here we go, onto this roof, down the stairs. Oh, wrap around here and down these stairs, I think. I've definitely been here already. Javi, you look like a fairy queen from Berserk with your curly hair. I'm gonna cry, that's so lovely, thank you. Guys, stop, you're gonna, you're, I'm absolutely beaming. I wish I liked it more. I'm gonna try and like it more. So thank you guys. We roll across the ledge. Like onto this, correct? Okay. Um, I know you said, you, uh, Coddle Buddy said, you've never played this one, is it worth it? Have you played any of the other ones? Ooh, hang on. Secret wall will be re You have to have it in your offhand to use. It's so stressful doing this with the howling and the growling because I just he think something's about to approach me. Why don't I like my curly hair again? Um, because I think for multiple reasons. I think one is just like a shitty little poo-poo thing of where society tells you that straight hair is beautiful. Um... Over here, it must be here. I mean, Jesus. Let there be light, okay. Uh, and then it's also just like hard to style correctly, you know? Correctly, like in a way. Like this air dried well today, so I left it. But sometimes it doesn't always air dry well. Silver pendant. Okay, I have to believe that's what I came here for. Yeah. Uh, I think this is at least safe. So let's read. Uh, silver pendant. Silver pendant deflects the dark. Silver pendant engraved with the crest of Artorius, one of the ancient treasures of a one of the ancient treasures of Anor Londo, presented to Artorius for facing the abyss. Effectively deflects the dark of the abyss, especially in its magic forms. But it's not a ring. I don't know how to use it. And I don't need to know how to use it yet, but I will eventually need to know how to use it. Okay, well that's good. Oh shit. Except I'm stuck now. Uh... No, okay, well, okay. You saw where I was going with that. I had an idea, it just didn't pan out, obviously. You use it like a parry to deflect dark magic. Keep it in the item slot. That's gonna be so tricky. So you would recommend that I pop it in, like here? That feels like it's gonna be so tricky, dude. I don't like that at all. The laughs help. What do you mean, one? Welcome in. <laughs> this place is so miserable. I genuinely hate being here. It's thoroughly, thoroughly um, unpleasant. Thoroughly unpleasant. Welcome, welcome. You have curly hair too. Only downside is it's hard to brush in the morning. Do you brush your curls out every morning? So this is also the other thing, right? With curly hair, and to each their own, but typically with curly hair, you don't brush it. Because if you brush it, you're just going to brush the curl pass, like the curls out. So it won't turn into like formed curls. It'll be more of like a frizz. Um, but it means it can be kind of difficult keeping it looking nice for like a certain number of days. If you jump around, it would have worked, unfortunate. But we've got the shortcut, which is better to take anyway. I don't brush my curls out. I don't brush them out. 
because mine just won't look good brushed out. Hey, Joe, welcome in. Yeah, I've always been taught to not brush curls out. So I don't even mark with brushing my hair in the morning when I've got it curly. Try plunging attack again? Why so many trolls? I at least feel so much better being here now that I've got the shortcut. Jeez. Every time I get stopped to count sites in Elden Ring, I was constantly scared of a zombie walking up on me. Happened at the sunken castle. Unmanly scream I'm not proud of. Oh, if I... Oh. I've already been in that room. Ugh. Oh, 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 I, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm orientated correctly now. Okay, I got it, I got it. Um, I have screamed so many times. So many times. I've, I've lost the ability to even feel shame about it anymore. It's just happened at some, oh, okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, yeah. Sorry I missed that playthrough. No, I mean, if you do want to watch it, it is all on YouTube. <laughs> but it's a long playthrough. I just need you to know that the moment where I nearly threw my controller across the room in rage is coming up. My heart is fucking sinking. Wait, Lollip, how did you do... Because, guys, one, please follow Lollip because the vibes are immaculate, but two... Lollip did just finish playing Dark Souls. Uh, how did you do for the um, uh, Artorius fight? What's the best way to do this, guys? Not like that. Not like that either. That's a Huambo combo if I ever saw one. Hey. Can I get her to aggro so I can try and use the pendant? Or at the very least, get these two to come to me. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. Oh, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh shit, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Let me unequip the humanity. I feel like I'm gonna get myself in trouble with that. And then put the silver pendant here. Okay, like this. Backstab? I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm dead. Maybe that's not what the pendant's for. Or I just didn't time it right. Just didn't time it right. It's for it's for right before they hit you with the dark blast. Okay, but I am thinking it's the correct. I am at least thinking about it correctly, which is good. Um okay, let's try and do the same thing again. Pull these guys towards me. No, that's not what I meant to do. Um, having it in the item slot, it's the only place I can have it, isn't it? Because it's not a weapon. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna have to get good at toggling between the two. That blows, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get good at uh, like menuing and shit. Damn. 
It takes so long to use that item. It doesn't just like quickly use it. That timing is gonna suck, dude. But I also wonder how easy or not it's gonna do, how easy or not it's gonna be to do that without using. Let me just go sit back down. That was just silly. I don't know what I was doing just then. Yeah, I, I honestly may have to just try and focus on dodging them. I'll try it one time because I'm not getting the parry right. Clearly. I think it's just... Ugh. So much to have to react to. I think if it were like a, in a one-on-one -on -one boss fight, it would be a lot easier to do. It's having to manage all the mobs and do that. That's a struggle. Okay. On the bright side, I think we've pulled aggro for these guys, but not the witches yet. Or what I'm choosing to call witches. So that's good. But it will not last long. What happened? Oh, I'm, po I'm poisoned. No, I don't know. Uh, it, that's such a problem. Because here's the issue, right? Oh, I think I might be down. I'm going to add a couple deaths. I think I'm down a handful. Um, okay, here's my problem. And I don't know if it's because of what I'm wearing or if it's the same for everyone. But what I'm struggling with right now is that if you get hit by one of those black fireballs, you are... I'm still stuck in the recovery animation that I'm not able to dodge the second one. I'm like locked in there. Um, so that's kind of what's a bit tough right now. I'm finding that to be the hardest thing and then you just get completely overwhelmed. They're mad you have a cooler outfit, big true. Those dudes just hit hard. You have to spam buffer your input and hope the second doesn't, uh, second doesn't get you if you get hit by the first, okay. Just run like mad when you get to that spot and see if there's something somewhere to go without engaging. I mean, frankly, I might as well try. I'm curious what's in the back room. I'm half tempted to just like see if I can run in there. Um, but I really don't even, whilst I am one that will Leroy Jenkins myself into places uh, fearlessly when I should probably have more fear about it. Um, I kind of get the vibe this is not one of those areas that you can just like run through, but we may try it. <laughs> Ooh, you would not run in there without killing all of the guys. I wouldn't specify why. Why is it called ads? Why are they, why are mobs like that called ads? I spent too much time in marketing to look at ads and not think of advertisement, to be honest. But I know that's not why people use it. I'm dead. Can I hide behind this and drink? Additional enemies add on enemies. Okay. Duh. And you're just staggered for an eternity. Oh, my arm is at risk now. Jesus. Yeah, mobs, mobs, I've, I'm much more familiar with than ads. It's more common in MMOs and RPGs. Oh, it's term primary MMO genre, and I don't play MMOs, so I wonder maybe if that's why. I hate this feeling. I hate this feeling of, um, I don't want to say like hopelessness. Cause I also don't think I can hide behind this particular. <laughs> it 
Insane enemy aggro. Insane enemy aggro, dude. Fuck this place. Lollip, I don't know how you played this once and can sit here and watch me someone play it again. Oh, see, maybe that's why it's called Dark Souls. It sucks the joy out of you from rage and frustration. I don't like feeling despair. Um, and I, I've played 200 plus hours of Elden Ring. However, 50 hours of this, or however many it's been at this point. Um, uh, yeah, and I just... There would be times, obviously, doing the Melania fight, like, early, early on, where I was like, ooh, I, I just can't do this. I'm not meant... I, I, I'm, I don't know how I can do this. But that feeling went away pretty quickly. This is the first time where I'm feeling like... This and, like, yesterday as well, I was having this feeling a bit. That's all Souls games. But, like, I didn't feel this way. I didn't feel this way. Baldur's Gate 3 looks fun. I know I wish I played Baldur's Gate 3 instead of this. Mistakes have been made, chat. Um, okay, but I kind of liked the idea of trying to get behind this pillar. Stop! Stop it! I'm dead. I don't think that's terribly wrong. I don't think that's terribly wrong. I'm just not doing it right. I don't like feeling despair though. I like feeling galvanized. I'm feeling ungalvanized right now. An ungalvanized. Bitches! Ah Can I hide behind this? Stop doing that. Yes, I can. Can I get you guys to want to be dumb enough to come to me? Am I brave enough to try and do this parry? Okay, yes I am, guys. Not twice, though. But see now, this is just one part of it, dudes. This is just one part of it. <laughs> What's in here? Who are you? Why am I here with my fucking dick flapping about? You better not respawn. What are you? Chain armor. We worked so hard to guess it. Chain armor. Chain armor. It's boring as tits. Take that shit off immediately. What a bloody waste. Um, all right, well, this is miserable. And that enemy type probably respawns. So that was also probably a waste of time. Um, everything sucks. I hate it here. so rude for for why uh, I think I've made a mistake
That's a bonfire straight ahead. I think it's a bonfire. Can I go touch it? Ah, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, it's safe, it's safe. <gasps> okay. A little sigh of relief there. A good sigh of relief. Jeez Louise, dude. Um. <sighs> Hang on, let me just sit down again. Let me just repair my stuff because, like, why not? We're here now. You never know. Um, okay, okay. The cookie monster was busy in that goddamn- I'm just- dude, I'm thrilled. And I'm also happy that you can walk between the bonfires. Alright, so this place, again, miserable. But at least we're past that particular room. Prison cells that everyone's broken out of. Great sign. And it is black. It is pitch black in here. Um, be wary of monster. I mean, God, you just can't see anything. I don't want to walk in there. <laughs> I just don't want to walk in there. I just think I'm going to get scared. Chasm of the Abyss. I don't even need it. I honestly don't even need it. But better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Go away! Message! I, I couldn't even get the message away. What was I meant to do, huh? What's down here? Ah! ah okay. I swear, I swear, I hit a certain point and I just started gliding down. That was not intentional in the slightest. It like, whoa, got really slippery. Jump scares, here we go. I know, it's so dark in here. It's so dark in here, but you can only use the skull in your off hand. I'm displeased. Oh, is that to guide me? Maybe. Although there was that other enemy the other way. So what's the deal? CM, don't say that. You can't say that. This could all turn around. You don't know. This could turn out very well. They do look familiar. They look like humanities. They look exactly like the Omnom humanities that we consume. Um, I think that is the correct way to go. Uh, yeah, also this is just miserable. These are just all enemies. Crazy amount of enemies. Yeah. I think it's just they're guarding whatever item that is. I'm not going that way unless I absolutely have to. There was a person on the ledge somewhere here. Where were they? They were on the ledge here. You're jumping down. But you're casting magic. So are you trying to hurt these things? Will they hurt you? I don't want to hurt them. Oh, they absolutely will hurt me if I run into them. Okay, well, okay, 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 okay. Uh. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to hurt the humanity people. Relax. 
Because I don't think they actually want to hurt me, you know? You know what part of it is, though, guys? When I'm thinking about why I despair in this game. Twin humanity is nice. Truly, the um, shortage of bonfires, the scarcity of bonfires, does make for a very interesting, but also very unpleasant, experience. Leave me alone. I just don't want to fight you. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in, lovely people. Honestly, thank God for that. And I know I will not always be saying thank God for that, but I'm actually not too mad about seeing that. Yep. Send my ass right in there. You missed a massive shortcut. Okay, I have no choice. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Unless I do this first try. The hand. The hand. Here we go. I expected this to be a, a, a big dragon. I think they'd said there was a black dragon here. I don't think that's a dragon. This is gonna be awful though. Ooh. Don't like that chat. Don't like that at all. I'm dead, I'm dead. Um. I think I'm gonna move the gold weapon into my main hand and to two hand it. There's a crucial friend you should find for this fight. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. There's a crucial friend. We'll go find the crucial friend. We will go find the friend. Cordishan, don't say that. I think I did do the plus one death, but I'll add one more in because sure. Uh,. I can warp, hang on. I can continue to warp to the bonfires, right? So I can go warp to the, oh, I did include it, okay. I can go warp to the one that I've kindled and warp back here, right? I'm thinking about that correctly still. I shouldn't be concerned. You can warp anywhere, okay. So let's go warp to Ulusil Township and then we'll warp back. Thank you for the follows, welcome in. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. No, we won't. We're gonna go find the friend, whoever the friend is. There is a whole field of these guys. There's no way I'm making it through this safely. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're just guarding that item. I think they're only guarding the item, which I don't give a fuck about. So we will not go try and get that item. Cool, 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 cool. You missed a massive shortcut that would take you from Ulusil Township down an elevator near Manus. Where? Double O gold. You will find the friend, but to use him for the boss, you will need to reverse hollowing for a summon sign, which is which is in the boss fight as soon as you fall down. Okay, wait. You will find the friend, but to use him for the boss, you will need to reverse hollowing for a summon sign, which is in the boss fight as soon as you fall down, you bang a left. Okay. A shortcut inside the abyss. You haven't seen half of the abyss. There's a whole section and two other friends in there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna explore, but we're gonna explore, um, we're going to explore not the area with the bastard people that are guarding whatever the fuck it is they're guarding because I can't be fucked with that. That shit's gonna drive me mental. And I don't think it's wholly necessary, but I could be wrong. I know this place, oh, okay. I hate how dark this place is. I just find it so annoying. Um, wait, 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 wait. What I think I wanna do, let's swap this stuff out right now. So let's put this 
In my main hand. Cool. That's fine. Uh, and then I will just two hand this. Is it worth even trying to fight these guys? A little bit. Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's someone that's going to be up there. To yeah, yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Wasn't there some... Oh, for fuck's sake. Is she down here? She's over there. I misjudged. I misjudged. I can't even reach her. Oh, okay, because she's going to bring the heat to me. Uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Honestly, I love all these games, but I tried to go back to Bloodborne after Elden Ring. Oh my gosh. You struggled with Bloodborne after Elden Ring. That does not give me a lot of hope. Um, okay. I don't even remember. There's a path that allows you to go around the humanity monsters. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I've got to try and find the path. <laughs> Instead of just planting face first into them. Here and left after this bridge. Yeah, I'm trying to find the safe place to go left. I think it's through here. Oh, no, no, no. That's the boss door. Uh, so, like, here, maybe? I think this is still the boss door. But these baby ones are at least quick to kill. Yeah, I think this is just, like, the intended path to get down here. Yes, it is. Um, okay. Because I need to still look. I need to explore. Because I need to find a friend that I've not yet found. And what was... Oh, they're still here, for sure. I don't want to fight them in here. Um... Once you initially see the field of humanity, you take the left side and not drop down until you see smoke. Okay, I've got to look for literal smoke. Uh, so let's climb this back up. I mean, good grief, guys. And I get stressed. I don't see how there's enough time to look for this shit. Well, there's something interesting here, at least. So even if I die grabbing it. You guys really don't want me to get it. What a waste. Um... Go up? I can't... Can I go back up? Like, here? Oh, here maybe. Let's just heal. Why not? Ugh. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it here. <laughs> well, other places we were having a silly, goofy time. Did I just make a loop? Yes, I just made a bloody loop. <sighs> Let's go back down. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I treat video games like as if I'm I'm in real life in the sense of like I just squinted my face to try and see better, but I can't see you can't see better. Is that smoke? Maybe that's smoke. That's definitely smoke. Cat! Okay. This feels like you're leading me into a trap of sorts. Where are you? Up there, okay. Uh, can I just go straight? Cat friend, where did you go?
Okay. Uh I gotta go back down for fuck's sake. Um, okay. Okay, don't get entrapped inside of that. It's a great place to humanity farm, I suppose. Uh, are you gonna come and attack? Okay, um, I can't see the cat anymore, but there are obviously notes here. Oh, I don't think that's cat smoke though. Where are the notes? Where, where, here we go. Hidden path ahead. Insanity. Absolute mentalness. I, I, I actually just don't even want to fight these things. Ah! Hi, can you hear me? Cleansing Great Shield. Okay. Cleansing Great Shield, 75. What's the one that I've got? 62. What's the deal with this? Uh, steel great shield used by knight Artorius who succumbed to the abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot, Sif. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remained high. I thanks, I hate to hear. It's so sad. It's so sad. For God's sake. You missed this. Lollip, I don't, again, I don't know how people would have found this. If you didn't have the notes on, if you didn't explore and obviously see the smoke, like there's just no way to run into it, like organically, unless you're just checking everything out. Uh, okay, so we found Sif. Is there anyone else that we're meant to have found here? People found it by searching, but yeah, you just gotta... Like, how would you, okay, if you didn't have this note saying that there was a wall there, how would you know there's an invisible wall there? There's no tell, right, that the wall is there. You just have to, like, roll about. Um, okay, is there any other friend or something or other that I need to get from here? Because assuming not, um... Then I need to... Oh, the cat disappears in front of the wall. That's the tell. Okay, okay. Or at least there's a tell then. I need to make my way back to the bonfire. I think. Because uh, I need to be human. I need to be unhollow. Frankly, actually, since these things drop humanity, I might as well continue killing them. They kind of do look like Baymax, to be honest. Oh, got the elevator. I may do. I may do. I may do. What? I, I'm not trying to get to Manu yet. I'm trying to get... Uh, okay. I'm trying to get to the bonfire so that I can... Because to summon Sif, I need to be human, correct? So I'm trying to... Wow, they don't want to drop anything now. Nothing? Nothing? 
Then, oh, you can get to Manu from here, from faster from the, from the elevator than in the prison cell. Is that true? Black flame. Wow. Don't you have humanities already? I do. Um, but I figured since I'm here anyway, I might as well have fought them to get the humanities. But now the problem is I don't know how to hell to get back up. I'm stuck. I've fallen and I can't get back up. Uh, this way. If you want Sif to help, you need to reverse humanity. I think Sif makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've found Sif. And Sif is one of the rare... Sif seems to be one of the rare, uh, like, law-based summons for the game. Uh, so it'd be fun to summon Sif for this. Also, like, who doesn't love best dog? Okay, well, I found the elevator again. Does it take me to... Does it take me to, um... I don't know what a better bonfire is near here, though. It's the only thing, right? Oh, there is, though. I think it's... Because we would have done this walk back a handful of times. Oh, just a head through Artorias' area. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Now it's reverse hollowing. All right. Now, the only problem is I need to find a way back to his room from being here. And I'm not sure... I feel that confident. Touch summon sign. Who, who, who are you summoning? A random co-op of a multiplayer. Okay, okay. Follow the lights. It should take me to Manus. All right. And the summon sign is in the room. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. Follow the spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Okay. I'm in trouble! Uh... No, is this the bridge? Matt Sashimo, welcome in. Lovely. How's it going? This isn't a horrific walk back. And it looks like those humanity people stay dead. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <gasps> that was so close, guys. That was so close. Damn it to hell. Okay, now it's down to my left somewhere. I'm at least human, so this should be easy enough to see. Down, dog on left, okay. Darby, you footy fan? I am. But I don't watch it regularly as much as I would like to. Lyle's welcome in, lovely! Just leave me alone. <laughs> Please don't throw me off the ledge! Sif, can you help for a second? Please. I just need to heal.
I don't know what I'm hitting at. Damn, 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 damn. I actually bullied for a moment. I got my shit rocked. Um... He's trying his best. Stop. Uh, I saw someone wrote this is a 20 bonfire place. So we're going to use a twin humanity. Kindle this again. And then. And then. Uh, go back. Thing is, this sucks. Because this is a long walk back. And, no, uh, and, 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 um, having to use humanity each time to get Sif to join the fight. He does move a lot less when you have Sif in. Interesting. Endotoxin, welcome in. Probably should hit him with something harder than the feather down pillow. Yeah, I wasn't doing that much damage. Manus is resistant to fire and lightning and magic. Does that mean the gold weapon that I have is the best weapon for him? Am I correct in thinking that or not? Besides Crystal Halberd, pro probably. And I don't have any more hits on that, I don't think. This sucks also because this run back, wouldn't you know it, sucks. Hopefully I- well, no. I hope I obviously don't have to do it a lot. Ha ha ha. But if I do have to do it a lot, I'm hoping that it just gets um, easier to remember. Side note, I don't, don't you feel proud how much this game you've beaten? You're so kind. Um, you know what? Actually, yes. Yes, I am proud. I'm proud about, you know what it is though? And I don't know if you felt this way, Lollip. Cause when did you do the DLC? I think I'm doing the DLC right before whatever the last fight is. Um. I don't know if you feel this way, but bro, the difficulty spike in the DLC to me feels surprisingly high, I think. Quickly cross, quickly cross. Okay, and I think we're good to kind of skip this again. That was a lot of damage, chat. Uh, that was a lot of damage. That has to be a record. About that difficulty spike, yeah, fucking exactly. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, because this is where, this is my concern right now for the fight. It does a lot of damage, but I'm not doing that much damage. And that's what I'm most concerned about right now. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but do you see why it's so red? I don't think that makes me feel bad at all. <clears throat> Genuinely. What I'm starting to feel nervous about is that I don't have a lot of humanity. Um, so we might be on a humanity farming mission at some point. Because it would be cute to use Sif in the fight. <clears throat> Manus, has, Manus has a shit ton of health. You could look at the other areas in the forest before fighting Manus. Yeah, I think I will. So look, I've already human again. So I'm gonna go do the fight again since I'm human. And then if it's just again, 
probably... Okay, we're going to do the fight again since I'm human. Obviously, our hope is that we defeat it this go-round. Right? Of course. However, comma. If we don't, um, I will explore around the forest. Also, it sounds like there was something that I could do in... Um, there was something I could do in Isolith that I've not yet done before. Um, or there's something, there seems like there's something else that I could be doing somewhere else, at least. This is at least nice that it drops us in a place where we can handle that. Those dudes drop humanity. I was killing some of them to get the humanity, um, but they weren't all dropping it. Again, I also don't like that they're a mechanic in this game, unless, well, no, okay, I take it back. There is probably a much safer way to get to where... Uh... That's doing less damage, I think. I feel like my sword is going through him at times. Right, guys, what is happening? Why is my attack just going through him? I think we did better that, that I think that was the best attempt that we had, um, but still not amazing. Dude, the wombo combo is no joke, dudes, huh? But it's also like, it's not just the combo of the, of the attack, right? I swear, I swear, I'm not trying to be that person, I'm not trying to be that person, but I'm like doing attacks and I'm, it should be connecting with his leg and it's not connecting with his leg, it's going straight through him, like what, if you're gonna have a boss that big, I should be able to hit the boss, you know what I mean, it feels like something's not quite right. Aside from the bit in Isolith and the DLC, you have, you just have placing the Lord Vessel on the last stretch, okay, so maybe we just do the bit in Isolith then. Uh, Java, will you playing Starfield on your own time stream? I will be streaming Starfield. Um, I'm actually, this is a great time. I'll say this, but I absolutely will be playing Starfield. Um, I think earlier release for that is on September 1st. I plan to play that September 1st. I plan to play for a while. That'll probably be a big one in stream. It's probably the first, like, aside from, I think, I don't know. It feels like it'll be the first, like, big release game that I've done in a little bit. So if you guys are able to, like, hang out and lurk for that, it would mean the absolute world to me and kind of catch up on the stream of it. Yeah, yeah, super into, so I, and it's a great time to say really quickly, um, I'm so thrilled that there are so many new faces in here. Welcome in. I'm at Java Chip. I'm a variety streamer. I know we've been playing like all Dark Souls for a while, but I do stream a variety of things. So I'm not just a Soulsborne streamer. This is only my second ever um, FromSoft game. So expect lots of different variety stuff and it would mean the world to me if you guys could show up for some of the variety of things, even if it's just to lurk. Uh, all right, so let's go explore the rest of the forest, I think. All right, now when it comes to exploring the Royal Wood, I don't think there's anything here to explore. No, I think that that, it's, yeah, yeah, all blocked off. I don't know if I'm meant to be looking for something in particular. Am I, is there something in particular that I'm meant to sort of be looking for? Or is this just kind of like a, you know, Why not give this place another once over kind of thing? How's the playthrough going today? It was going okay. Until it wasn't going okay. Uh, well, frankly, there's really not much area in this place that I think is good. <laughs> that I think has been going well, rather. Elizabeth's mushroom. Uh, Elizabeth's mushroom. Elizabeth's mushroom. Granny restores HP for a limited duration. Okay. I'm in the DLC. Yeah. And frankly, I'm only in the DLC because... Because I have to do it now. 
Um, because if I don't do it now, the world ends. There have been so many times I've almost fallen to my death here. Uh, but it feel, honestly, it feels so counterintuitive to be doing it right now. Because before I was like, oh god, I'll just do the DLC when I'm done with the game. But apparently that's not, that's not the way people do it. You guys told me to explore around here. So I do have to believe that there is something worthwhile here. Um, but it's not that easy to find. I feel like when you get back to the base game, it's gonna feel easy. Well, that was my thing, right? I kind of wonder, <laughs> I kind of wonder, I kind of am concerned a bit about the same thing. For fuck's sake, dude, I hate these dumb bastards. I'm just stuck, I'm just stuck. Um, but apparently, unless I'm just being trolled to absolute high heaven, um, which I really don't think I am, because um, that would be like the longest con, frankly. Um, I do think I'm meant to be doing the DLC first, but it, it doesn't, in my little baby brain, it doesn't compute at all. By chance, did you remember the last place you encountered Salah? Yes, I think the last place I encountered him, unless I'm mistaken, is in Isolith. There's a boss I haven't found yet. Okay. There isn't much else to do here, but there is a path near the merchant with the deep voice. Okay, okay, I'm exploring the wrong area. All right, let's go back to the merchant. Not there, There's, that's a dead path. There is something over there. Let's grab that. You can find him in one of the more place. We also have a bit more of Sigmire's quest as well before the final boss. Who the hell is Sigmire? Ah, maybe down here. Who the hell are they? Did you kiss Astoria? You absolutely did. Come in, pucker up, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was in yesterday's stream. That part will be live on YouTube tomorrow. Ideally, early tomorrow. <gasps> Not. The hitboxes are wild. No. He was like well on top of my head. Sight Sigwa. Oh, the Onion Knight. The Onion Knight. Okay, so the last place I saw the Onion Knight was um, in the depths, I think. It's very creepy. Whatever those things are. Sorry. I thought that came out of nowhere, dude. There must be more around here because there's a blood stain, but I don't see it. Because they must blend in incredibly well. Oh, I see one walking up there. Okay, yeah. Is it just the one? Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's read the notes, shall we? Let's read the notes. Let's read the notes. Despair. Try sniper. Perfectly timed conversation that we had. Need giant. Uh, I lost all the onion knight in the depths, I think it was. No, not the depths. What do you call it? Blight Town. <laughs> ah, there's the aforementioned dragon. Who talked to us about the dragon? I forget who it was. Someone did. Taking the day off work. Oh, trying to get over the flu. I'm so sorry. That's absolutely no fun. Speaking of no fun, where's the dragon?
There you are. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking. Zaru. Don't be laughing at my despair. That was intended. You're good. So he only does that once? Question mark. Go talk to Ga Gao now. Okay. Oh, Gao is the is the Bloodborne man. Guys. I said it in Elden Ring. I have to say it again now. I don't know how you guys remember who is who. Who is called who? Go, he's the giant. Chester's the bloodborne man. Gao is the giant. Oh, the, the, the smith. The smith. How the hell do you guys remember this stuff? My god. He did tell me about the black dragon. He was the one that told me about it. So let's go tell him about it. You won't believe what I saw. This bastard dragon flying about still. Parasocial relationships. Is that it? That cracks me up. Tall boy. He's quite nice. I like him. He's more than just a smith. He's a fourth knight of Gwyn. You know what I didn't do? Guys, can someone remind me to do this? At the very end of stream... Can we pull up, uh, pull up the VOD <clears throat> so I can watch that intro cutscene again? Remind me to do that before before we end and raid, okay? Please, please. You remember Gal promised that? Oh God, Kiras, welcome in. Something tells me this goes very poorly. Tomorrow, is the black dragon posing the duress? Yeah. Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamit. Calamit. A ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. The bitterest end. Yes. <laughs> What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee. Thank you. And I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch. And see how Goth hunts dragons. Are you gonna do it for me? No, you're gonna craft something for me. I kinda wish he would kill the dragon. That would be awesome. Ain't no fucking way, dude. Maybe it grounds the dragon. Ah, maybe that's what it does. It grounds it. Shot was never loosed. That Indeed. bat will be grounded <coughs> for a good spell. Yes. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. I'll ah. do my best. Dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. Well, that was fucking awesome. That was badass. So now we go back. Yeah, no worries, Gecko. I don't know. I. I would have thought I'd play DS2 next, but you think DS3 is better? We're not doing Manus anymore. I had to take a break. And fight this hellscape instead. This was clearly the better choice of the two. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, this is doing nothing. Okay, well, I didn't dodge that well at all. Stop. Why does it take me forever and a day to get back up? I've made a mistake doing this. That's worse, I think. Okay, well, it doesn't entirely ground it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What do you want me to do? I think I've gotten to, I think in a way, I've been lucky in the game. But there are very few areas. There are very few areas in the game. Where, okay, hang on. So, when I first, when I, before I had played Soulsborne games, um, and when I just knew about them, like in, like, cultural, like, geisty, whatever, right? Okay. Um, I just knew, what I had assumed they were was just a series of boss gauntlets, right? Where you're spending very little time between bosses you're normally just fighting one boss after another after another frankly what the dlc has almost felt like the dlc to me has felt much closer to like a boss gauntlet than i think the rest of the game has um and so thinking in my mind that it was a boss gauntlet what i had expected to have happen is that you would just run up into areas where you go you know there's nothing else for you to go to do. There's no other way for you to go. You just have to get good and like learn how to do this fight. But surprisingly to me, Elden Ring and um, Dark Souls have not really been like that. Up until now. <laughs> now feels like the point in the game where I'm just hitting multiple roadblocks and you've just got to like pick something and just like get good. There's like very little I can do in the way of like not doing that stuff, you know. He's flying all over the arena, I know. This is the most short and sweet out of FromSoft DLCs. I think it's really nice. I think it's really nice. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about really nice. It's a thing. No, I think it's good. I think the, the short DLC is interesting. Um, and maybe you've got a lot of boss fights in here. Where the hell is it? There it is. Um, once I get the timing of this stuff down, it'll be good. This is doing a lot more damage. What, what, what? Drink! I caught that up. Yeah, that attack's horrible. That attack's really horrible. I've just, like, heard what it is. I don't think I, like, heard it before the other time. Which I know probably just makes sense, but... I knew I was going to get got. There's like nothing for it. Damn, I keep on mistiming that. No, fucking. I'm dead. Oh, I'm just out of range.
Ah, man. No! You just get stuck. That sucks. Don't forget to cut the tail off. How fucking how, dude? <laughs> Oh, that dive looks so goofy. It's all so goofy. You got this easy peasy. I can definitely do... Literally, the only point in this game... Thank you for the follows, everyone, by the way. Massive welcome in. The only point in this game where I start to feel really helpless is if I'm, like, up against a challenging boss fight um, and I'm just not doing enough damage. That shit sucks. Because it's one thing to kind of be like, okay, I've got to survive. I've got to like manage how to survive like at most two or three hits, but then doing so little. If you're doing at least a lot of damage, you're like, can get through it. 90% of Souls players, when they dealt negative, would. 90% of Souls players, when they would dealt negative damage. How can you deal negative damage to Margaret? You're just saying that to be hyperbolic, right? Or do you mean it? Again, my biggest gripe with the DLC um, uh, is that, oh my god, uh, the enemies, I don't know how I'm going to get that tail, genuinely. I can't even reach it, can I? Oh, it can definitely reach me. I'm an idiot. That's shock surprise if that worked. Did he get me with his knee? Bleed damage? I think I've got bleed damage off. I'm in trouble. Yeah. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. If my character moves um, a lot faster, ah, I wouldn't nearly be as like bothered about how slow, sorry, how, how fast these bosses move. So I kind of prefer this, the faster paced kind of combat whatnot, but only when my character is also responsive. Oh, damn. I just had no clue how to look at what was happening. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. Woo, welcome in. I think this was DLC since I've never fought this guy. And it, this boss, at least in my opinion, is quite easy to miss. I don't know. Well, I guess you could miss all of these. It's not required. But the game, like, pulls you through this section. Um, but... The game doesn't, you have to go exploring around to find it. I will say though, well, no, I don't know. So you get a key. There's a, there's a blacksmith up there that you can get the key for. But I felt like I kind of went out of my way and I, I happened to stumble across the key, but I went out of my way to get it. It wasn't like on the correct path. But if you talk to the blacksmith enough times, he does mention a black dragon. So that's the only tip off to me that there was a black dragon, but I even forgot that he'd said that. I've got to be honest, if you don't cut off this tail boss... <sighs> if you don't cut off his, this tail, the boss reward is a... Uh... Oh shit. Sorry, I forgot that there are dogs here. The boss reward is not that rewarding. Oh, there's a lot of narration play by play. There's a lot of that. <laughs> In fact... The only times that I'm quiet during a boss fight, I'm either like tilting out of my mind or I'm so incredibly anxious. Normally me being quiet is not a good thing. <laughs> the moment you went for the tail is the best opportunity. Just like dodge the tail drop. It's not just fighting the boss that's hard, it's fighting the camera, it's all of it, dude. Like, 
you have to lock on, otherwise it's so hard to know what's going on. But at the same time, locking on is just... Can you leave me alone? No, you cannot! Oh, I... I just don't, again, I, I'm not, because also to get the tail, oh shit, to get the tail is like, yeah, RNG kind of, to get him to do the tail whip thing. What? Ah, uh, that was weird. That was strange. Sparkling twice night that just disappeared there. Okay. It seems like I'm literally only fighting this for like credit or something. Street credit. I I don't understand. Uh there's been a couple times where I've Roll through that attack. Um, and I think it's his hind leg hitting me. Honestly, I might as well use that as a time to heal next time. Not right now! <laughs> Whoa. I can't dodge that one correctly at all. And I know the tail. I know I need to get to the tail. I just don't even see an opportunity to reach the damn thing. Maybe I just need to stay on its back more. I can't even get it to show me its back much. Can I get somewhere safe to heal? Nope. So I'm gonna do it now. And now for some reason. Body slam? Oh, 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 I thought I killed it. It's just bleeding. No! Oh no, I know I didn't get the tail. I know the good shit's on the tail. I, I just didn't even get an opportunity. Calamity ring. What's this shithole gift I got? That I'm not gonna want to use. Receive double damage. Literally just like spit into my eyeball. Why would you do that? A ring enchantment by the orange eye of Calamity, the bringer of Calamity, doubles damage received by its wearer. A useless ring befitting of no finger. Best left unknown, or at least very well hidden. Wonderful gift. No, seriously. Debated so hard. It's one thing to not, like, fucking... To, to, to give me something that's fucking... God damn it. Whatever, dude. I tried, guys. I bet there was, like, barely any opportunity to get the tail cut. So what, what's good about the tail? Tail is obsidian greatsword. At least it's a great sword then. It's not even... Oh, cute. It's not like something that I would probably be tempted to use, but it's a challenge mode ring. Okay, well, good for them, I guess. You've got your challenge mode situation. Let's see what else is in here before we trod back. I think I want to get my decks as high as possible. So let's do... Let's get it to level 36. And then we'll put the rest in 
summoned in endurance, I think. I feel like my vitality is okay. But I could be wrong. I miss being home so badly. So badly, honestly. It makes me very sad. Um, okay. I think we are going to be a bit smart. And I think we're going to pause here for today. Before I end stream, two things. First of all, I want to get a raid going. But before I get a raid going, um, I want to watch the intro cutscene again. So to do that, I'm only going to pull up my own bloody video, but it's quicker to pull up my own bloody video than to... Okay, so stick around. Let's watch the intro cutscene and then... Welcome in, lovely new people, by the way. It's kind of weird because I, you can hear How me, but... The world was Creepy. Shrouded by fog. Oh, why is this potato quality? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you very much. Gonna be a great watch, I think so, Tigress, right? Grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Fantastic. Right at home. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And falling. And of course, falling? Flying. Light. Flying. And falling. So I guess this is like Isleth area now. I'm in hell already and I've not even played yet. Accurate. Great. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito? Yes. Grave Lord Nito. The first of the day. The witch of Isolith. Isolith. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. I don't think we've run into her. Lord of Sunlight. And his faithful knights. Okay. Bed of Chaos, maybe, first of, okay, I think. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Okay. Gwyn's mighty lords. Okay, so the dragons are weak to lightning, you could infer, because Gwyn's also using whitening. Lightning, excuse me. And see the scales trade his own and the dragons. Oh, very fleshy. Because he has no scales. It's beautifully done. I know this is a remaster, but the game is considered quite old, right? If Bloodborne came out 2015, this game would have had to have come out like early 2000s. Oh, 2011. And only dark will remain. Okay. It's a very busy four years. <laughs> Even now. I love there are people in chat correcting what I'd said in real time, but there are people in chat in the past also correcting what I said. So past person typed quicker than current day on Rio and GDT. <laughs> I got there in the end, all right? I got there in the end. Bloodborne came out 2015. It is kind of weird because my character, my character, my camera perfectly overlays my other camera and the chats are overlaid over one another. See, it's like a whole thing. Anyway, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. It's also quiet. These beginning episodes are too quiet. Of the accursed dark side. 
It's very quiet. God damn me. Okay, that's definitely something that we have in our inventory, I think. We've got something that looks like that. Okay. Okay. Great intro. <laughs> Not me and for that shit's crazy. <laughs> Fuck. It would have been so much better if you were able to see both the faces going. Okay, dude, my face is bright red after that. It's like you're the same person. Dude, wow, I'm like so predictable then. I don't know how I feel about this chat.